everybody, it's your boy Beast here. Got another video for you today. You're seeing me pouring some boiling water into some cold water. Don't want the water too hot. And I'm doing this to take care of my calluses before I even hit the gym. This is about two hours before I actually went to the gym. Also gonna add some Epsom salt to this. And then I'm just gonna soak my hands in there. <clears throat> and I'm gonna soak them pretty much until the water cools off. And by doing this, the calluses really just come up. You can see them, <clears throat> just like you can see right there. Then I grab a pumice stone, and then I just file them down. I spend a good 10 minutes filing them down. Uh, you know, I don't want to end up ripping one of them while I'm at the gym. Um, I was going to do some farmer's walk and some trap bar deadlifts today. And I just wanted to have my calluses on deck on check. Now, I'm only going to show this clip from my squatting. I did some box squats. I did regular squats. I did some pause squats. No zercher squats today. I've been doing a lot of the zercher carries. Um, probably go back to them on my next squatting day. But um, today was a very humbling day, everybody. It proved to me that I am not ready and I still have a long way to go what you're looking here is um, a sleeve from a barbell and I'm gonna use this for some stone training um, big shout out to my gym for supporting what I do and letting me use their facilities to the fullest and you know they looked out and they gave me this so I could train and I'll show you what you could do with it uh, pretty much you just line up some bumper plates bumper plates preferably because you know you ain't gonna break them you slide the, the sleeve in there and then you just pop one of the collars, the, the you know what I'm talking about, the fucking, the hooks, the grips, whatever you want to call it, the clip-ons, um, and then <clears throat> you can start training for some stones. Now, this is more than just for stones, this, you know, you could develop a lot of different types of strength doing this and this was very humbling, this is all about technique. I, you know, completely underestimated this. Um, I had to run off to the side, go grab some chalk, put some chalk on my forearms, on my hands. <clears throat> um, I was really sweaty at this point, so I started to, you know, slip out of my hands. What I wanted to do is actually just do reps from the floor to the top, at least, you know, six to ten reps. Um, but it was too heavy. I think I need to rep it out with two plates But <clears throat> the more I did it the more I got comfortable You see that I started doing it with proper form lifting it up placing it on my knees then giving it a big old bear hug and Simulate the rep uh, This is very taxing on the body. I mean it felt good and all but like I said earlier this was a very humbling day and I am extremely motivated to continue training and getting myself conditioned to where I need to be. Um, four months from now, you'll see me doing this for some high ass reps. I promise you this. Mark my word. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm doing a damn thing. <clears throat> There's a lot of other things you could do with this, the, with the stone trainer. This is actually a piece of equipment that they sell on Elite FTS. It's a little longer and it's it goes for about $80, but it makes no sense to purchase that when I could just use this from a regular barbell. Um, so I grabbed a couple of these boxes and I just started you know, putting, putting the stone up top, simulating the stone. Um, this is still three plates at the end. I didn't record it, but I did use four plates and I was doing that as well. My technique just got better and better the more I did it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to get back to this. I'm going to do some more. I'm also going to do some front squats with this, some carries. Um, there's a big list of exercises you could do with this also to help your grip. So look out for that tomorrow. All right, and shit, kick my ass today, man. I'll tell you that. Kick my fucking ass. I'm going to have to take a towel with me to wipe it down in between sets because this shit just slips out of my fucking hand. But um, 
all in all, I'm convinced that at the end of the four months, this is going to feel like a peanut to me. And it's, it's mostly technique. But I feel good though. So one day at a time. One day at a time. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in another video tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Y'all hold it down.